Hi Capricorn, thanks for stopping by and here I am, spiritual love. We're gonna do a love reading for May 15 to the 31st. We're gonna see what are your energies, the person you're dealing with energies. We're gonna see uh, what is the energy between you guys and what is the outcome. And some advice from the universe, we're gonna be using oracle cards and see uh, what is the main messages for you. And we're gonna see what our kind of micro advice is and the divine and the universe for you. Remember, this is a general law of readings. I uh, probably don't resonate with everybody, but take what is for you and leave the rest. So let's start, Capricorn. Let's see what message we have for you for May 15 to the 31st. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for the support. And let's see what message we have for Capricorn. Can you Michael divine for May 15 to the 31st? What message we have for Capricorn? Okay. Let's start. Awareness. You becoming aware that your surroundings and what is the action you need to be taking uh, in, in your love life. You know exactly what is the move you need to take and also you have authority. You take it like a... If this is like the Empress energy, um, you holding your ground and you know exactly what you want and you don't let nobody change your mind about it. You have the wisdom too. Um, so you becoming an expert in the situation you are in. You overcoming a lot of struggle and now it's time to have the fruits of your labor. You're going to have a lot of prosperity too coming in your way. Um, because you're being patient and because you do things right and you're learning out of your mistakes in the past you take what it was for you you let the rest you're moving forward and you're growing spiritually mentally and you growing in a lot of ways you have the recognition of others and not just that you recognize what is the next step you need to take in life to be able to be successful. You take over your life and you don't let nobody getting in the way the way you really want. Let's see what else we have for you Capricorn. What are the messages we have for Capricorn? So you're becoming an emperor. Capricorn 15 to the 31st. Okay. You have a lot of hostilities in the past. Um, you battling as a warrior because you take action and moving forward. You don't holding back at all. Um, you are starting new business adventure and you're gonna be a lot of pro it's gonna be a lot of prosperity. So the message I have is anything you've been doing right now. Uh, probably online business or some great ideas is gonna be very prosper. You choose your path. You was in the size before, but not anymore. You know what actions you need to take in in love. Um, you also have the second chara, chakra, Archangel Ariel. Um, you becoming more intimate with other and your soul. You getting to know who you really are and how valuable you are how much you are like, a, you are a good catch. This is what you think, I'm a good catch. I deserve better. So probably some of you get out of the situation where you know appreciated and valuable when you have a lot of struggle and kind of love and you move on from that because you love your soul and you holding your ground. So let's see what other message we have for you Capricorn. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So things you cannot change, you just accept it, learning and moving on from them. What are the messages we have for Capricorn? Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do with self-judgment. So you're just moving on. You're just moving on and you're becoming balanced. You have peace in your heart. You do whatever it, it was possible to work out a situation 
um, you just accept in the fact you cannot change it you, and you move on to show happiness so let's see what's in your mind in love Capricorn what is in Capricorn's mind in love okay so you have the king of wands um, stability, passion, you also thinking very clearly uh, what is it you want and you also have the king of pentacles um, that represents you, balancing you out you take the energy of two kings and the five swords you willing to fight for what you want you willing to overcome whatever obstacles is coming in your way to have what you really think you deserve. For some of you, you're dealing with, say, other Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or you're dealing with a Sagittarius or Leo. Uh, also, I have Aquarian energy here. Let's see what is your overall energy for Capricorn in love. You manifesting a new beginning, a stable, and a, and, and a lot of prosperity in your life. You want a person who has not just equal give and take. It's, not, it's a plus in your dreams and um, in what you want in a relationship. Somebody who's by your side. You're thinking about an offer and passion you want to make. Probably some of you dealing with a Sagittarius or a Taurus. Um, you have a lot of passion towards this person. And you're thinking about an offer. And a decision you need to make. I also have balance and patience uh, with the temperance who is Sagittarian energy too. And the two of swords is you need to make a choice uh, towards the person you love. Um, you're just thinking about how are you going to make you move. You know what you want and you want to go for, but you want to be, you want to be something solid, consistent and secure. You don't want to have like a lot of, uh, you don't, you don't want to have lies. You don't want to have sneaky things in your life. And also what I pick up with the seven of swords in here is you, you just want to move in forward and you don't want to be unfair with the person you love. You want to be truthful with the ace of swords after that. You want to have this new beginning and true, and you want to follow your intuition with the high priestess in the bottom of the day. You want to follow your intuition and do what make you happy. You want something solid. Uh, uh, probably some of you dealing with the Taurus energy here. Uh, you want some, something committed, and you want to move forward stability. You with the song in here, it's a lot of major arcanas. You feel the universe push you to your success and this new beginning who you're gonna have, it is something very, very who's gonna make you extremely happy. Let's see what is your personal energies. We have the chariot and you have the Ace of Wands, so things are going to move in faster. Probably you're dealing with a fighter sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, or you're dealing with a Cancerian. Um, this person probably lives far away from you, um, but this person has a lot of passion for you, and it's going to be a lot of fast movement between you two. This person is very trapped in their head uh, and waiting and overthinking things. This person thinking about you all the time. And not just that, they want to have a conversation and they want to choose them with the seven of cups. They want a commitment with you with the ten of pentacles. We also have the two of ones and the star, uh, Aquarian energy and the two of ones fighter energy. But it's a choice that needs to be made who's going to make them very happy and fulfilled. Um, they waiting with a hermit here, Virgo energy. They waiting and you choose them or you communicate with them. Remember, these energies can be vice versa. So probably it's you who waiting in this person to make a decision and choose you. So this person right now, what I pick up is this person waiting on communication from you. This person, when you tell them that you love them, that you want to have a commitment with them, they just can't wait for this is happening and celebrate with you with the three of cups. Let's see what is the energy between you two. 
waiting in a commitment, the four of wands and the hermit, again, uh, Virgo energy and Sagittarians, Aries, Leo energy. Um, do you both want a solid foundation? You want a happy home? You want to have a commitment? You want to have this happy life? And you guys just waiting for the right time to move forward. With the king of the queen of cups and the dead, a scorpion in energy, um, probably some of you dealing with an Scorpio, but it's a lot of emotions and transformation in this relationship. You guys go through a transformation and now you go into a new beginning. With the king of wands and the emperor between you two, it's a lot of authority and I pick that come from you because you got that energy of you take control over your life and you know what you want. Um, and you really want this solid foundation and this relationship who is balanced and this happy family. With the king of pentacles and the queen of wands, it's a lot of queen and kings in here. And I don't pick up a third party situation so far. What I see is you guys growing and develop in a better version of your soul. And you guys have balance and have prosperity. And you know exactly what you want and you're not up to games anymore. With the justice, as, um, the sun here, uh, Libra energy and Leo energy is a lot of balance between you and the person you're thinking about it and it's in a beautiful new beginning for you guys you overthinking things both of you um mm -hmm. because you really wanted this and also uh, do you want to this thing of cups um do you want to have this happy family do you want to have this celebration and you will have it um you're coming slow with this offer but it's solid and you holding tight in what you really want, who is the Eight of Cups. You wanted this beautiful, beautiful love between you two. And you follow your intuition with the High Priestess. You person also too. It's going to be a lot of message, a passionate message. And with the Six of Cups, you guys missing each other very much. Um, you also are so amazing, have a very deep, deep connection. You waiting for have this, take this leap of faith and you will be very successful at it. So don't doubt that your relationship is going to be successful, Capricorn. Let's see what all the message we have for Capricorn. It's going to be a lot of growing with this person. If this person you're dealing with is thinking about you a lot. Um, it can be vice versa. It can be you thinking a lot about the person you, you love. And it's about time. To communicate and have good news from you person on from you you left behind a, a relationship who wasn't serving you a situation who wasn't good for you you're going through a transformation you're learning from the experience somebody who doesn't appreciate you in the past you let it behind and you move on to a new things is is Take it a lot of time to overcome all the situation you're going through and all the mass, the fake mass is falling out and you see the true colors. Um, you really felt burden in the past about this, but you move on and take a leap of faith for what is really make you happy and something solid and grounded. A solid engagement and happiness. What are the message we have for Capricorn? What are the message we have for Capricorn? You don't want to lose your patience and you're waiting for the right time. You're being very perseverant in what you really want because you know deep, you know, you're not confused anymore. You are not confused. You confused before when it was dealing with this toxic situation, but you're not confused anymore because you let it behind. It's a better sweet for some of you, you had kids with the person in the past, um, but it's gonna be a new, it's gonna be better for you and you know it. You, you work a lot to try to forget the situation you are in and you have a lot of expansion financially. What are the message we have for Capricorn? What are the messages in love we have for Capricorn? You're going to have a beautiful new beginning and you know it. Yeah, you're going through a separation. 
So we know that you left behind a toxic situation and you go through a separation and you're growing and you learn and you, it is not a third party at all. You, you're ready to be happy with your soulmate. What are the messages we have? It's going to be a new commitment for you and the person you love. It's a true love and it's a confirmation of them. You already release your ex and maybe for some of you, you're in the process of it and you may be in a divorce battle. Everything's going to go well. You're going to have this beautiful new beginning. You're going to feel released and you're going to feel like a, a way get out of your shoulders. You probably, you, the person you love is somebody who you guys are middle age, maybe in almost your 40s. And you both are hardworking people and a gift for each other. You left behind the imprisonment with a person who lied, deceived you, and don't appreciate you. That is over with the coughing energy. And now you're going to have great fortune with the person you love. So Capricorn, I see you going through an evolution. You learn. You don't have resentment in you anymore. You're just grateful to... To, to have this experience, to overcome this. You're just grateful this is over and you can be with a person you really love and somebody who really appreciated you. For some of you, it's somebody who you're going to meet soon. Uh, for some of you, somebody from your past who come back to your life and make you extremely happy. Um, you you growing and you're going to have this beautiful, beautiful, prosper new beginning full of happiness and full of love. So this is what I have for you. Uh, thanks for stopping by. A lot of blessings. Bye-bye.